Do you want to unlock infinite cups of cordiality and unlock all of the insane armor sets that all of your recruits have? Well, this is literally like a cheat code to the oath system and can get you all these armor sets for all these different characters insanely fast. Guys, this took a long time to do, so make sure to subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps me out. That being said, once you unlock part five, you're gonna to go to the uninhibited heart level. Once you go through this, there's actually three different spawn locations for this cup of cordiality and you get it literally within like 30 seconds, uh, which makes it the fastest method possible right now in this game. So make sure to watch the entire video so that way you're not confused and you know all three spawn locations easy. So once you jump down here, you're gonna jump up on this ledge on the left. So the first spawn location is gonna be up here. So as you jump here, you can see the little glowing loot spot on the ground. That's where the cup is going to be. So you're going to click it and there it is. Once you get the cup of cordiality here, you're going to jump up on the wall and you're going to talk to this guy. And as soon as you talk to him, the mission is going to end. That's officially the first spawn location. That's the easiest one to grab. Now for the second one, once you jump up here and check this spot first, you're going to check it. And then if there's not a cup of cordiality there, then what you're going to do is run straight down this hallway follow my exact path, jump up on this rubble, and check this spot. So this spot will also have one. Uh, so if you get the cup of cordiality on this spot, you're going to run straight down here, and the guy will always be here to talk to, um, again, to end the mission right there. And the good thing is, even if an enemy starts to hit you or attack you while you're talking to him, uh, it doesn't matter. Once you start talking to him, you become invincible. The big thing here is once you get done, you're going to want to choose challenge the same battlefield again, so that way you can repeat this easily and quick the third and final spot is actually going to be up here and it's going to be just past the last spot so you can see i didn't get it there or the first spot uh, and then you're going to run take a right right here and it's going to be on this spot and then the guy is actually going to be down the hallway right here that you can talk to now there's actually a way to do this insanely faster probably double the speed literally so i'm going to go over that now because i did my original runs all with my original armor so what you're going to want to do is go back to the hidden village you reset your parameters and save a battle set with your original loadout in it uh, before you do this so then you're going to reset your parameters and you're going to put all your points as many as you can in the water phase then what you're going to do is equip all light armor so as light armor as you can possibly get you can see i brought it down to 20.5 percent to make me super fast and then what you're going to want to do is equip two skills you're going to want to equip this haste skill. This is going to make it set where you can run a lot faster and aqua blink, which means you can teleport. And this by itself is going to make it insanely fast. And I recommend that you save this as a battle set as well. That way, in case you want to do this or anything else, you can basically have a need for speed build. It's kind of insane. So you can see how much quicker I'm running through this level. It's literally honestly so fun. Uh, and you can run past these guys. And unlike other builds or when you have other armor, they literally can't even hit you as you run by because you run by so quick. That being said, if this helped you out, make sure to drop a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more awesome Wolong videos. That being said, thank you guys.